guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my weekly update. I have purchases, just a little bit. Gifts, stuff that I've worked on this week. The mug of the day. My first Ray Dunn mug. I've seen so many of them on Priscilla's Instagram and everything and I said, I gotta get me one of them. Hot mess. Uh, yeah, I got this off of um, eBay. And I love how it's not perfect. Like, it's... Uh, I'm sorry, my mind is like foggy today. I think it's a result of changing the way that I'm eating for a few days, you know, yeah. It's not perfect. It's wavy and I love it. I just love that it's not perfect. So, what has been going on this week? New Year's went by, totally uneventful. My husband is on call this week, so we didn't really do anything for New Year's. We just stayed home and watched a movie and all that good stuff. So, I met the ladies yesterday for stitching and dinner, and I did work on, I'm just gonna get right into what I've worked on this week. Hands-on design, year in chalk. I'm on January. I'm stitching this on 28 Count Lugana by Fiberlicious in her chalkboard fabric. And that's what I have done. The needle minder is from Gina's, oh my God. Oh no, it's just the way that it's turned. It looked like it was broken because of the way that it was turned. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> the needle minder is from Gina's Unique Boutique on Etsy. I am not using the hand dyed threads for this. I'm just using DMC white and the turquoise is DMC 3846. So yeah, I'm making good progress on that. And of course I worked on my drawn thread deck the halls piece. I'm almost done this. I have to get this done because I want to start on my new year new start piece that I did the video for the other day. And I'm not gonna start it until I'm done this. <laughs> um, as you can see, I don't really have very much to go. All I have is the word halls and like some leaves and some beads. So this is being stitched on 28 Count Lugana by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie in Caramel Macchiato. I am not using any of the called for threads. They called for all dinky dyes. I am using Weeks Dye Works Candy Apple for the red. The greens are, I don't even remember what, I have them right here, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm tired today, folks. I just, you know, I don't know if you guys are eating low carb. I'm only, what, three days in. It takes me a little bit. It, I'm, yeah, discombobulated today. Okay, so the dark green is, I want to say this is Classic Colorworks. I'm pretty sure Mistletoe. Classic Colorworks Lemongrass is the light green. The brown for the branches, and I'm dropping everything. The brown for the branches is Classic Colorworks Fresh Brew. And the black, which I stitched the beak in, is Classic Colorworks Blackbird. And of course, you know, I am using the Petite Treasure Braid PB. I want to say it's PB07 for the back stitch of the letters. Yeah, PB07, which is a beautiful red. They originally had called for the let the back stitch on the words to be in whatever floss you stitched it in, but I decided to use Petite Treasure Braid. And for the beads, for the berries, I'm using Mill Hill 3043, which are these really bright red ones. And then for the bird's eyes, I decided to use beads instead of just a stitch. 
and I used Mill Hill 2014, which is just a black. So, like I said, I'm really going to try to get this done this week. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to get it done. Needle Minders, Clay by Kim Peppermint Dragon on Etsy. And then the Gingerbread Man is from Down Sunshine Lane. So that is all I have stitched on this week. A lot of my time, believe it or not, has been taken up making these videos. Um, I have a bunch recorded. I actually, right now, have videos through January 25th every day. Um, I may get burnt out doing so many. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling odd today. But um, I'm going to try to do a series on how I edit my YouTube videos. Just little snippets, two, three minutes that show you one step, like how I do the beginning and ending slides. There's one video. Just so I'm not bombarding you with all kinds of information all at one time, if you're interested in seeing that. So stay tuned for that probably February. Yeah, but okay. You guys all know that my husband got me that Pottery Barn Cubby. I know I've talked about it a billion times. I actually did find small mini canvases at Hobby Lobby. These are four by four. So they will definitely be able to stand up and they will fit in there. This was 50% off, which was good because you see the price tag was $14.99. So I got this for $7.50, which I thought was a really great deal. So I found those and you know, I was talking to my husband this week about the cubby and I had sort of an epiphany on it. Meaning, I don't want to rush in filling it just because I have it. You know, I started looking through the Just Cross Stitch Ornament issues and hardly any of those caught my eye the first time around. So why am I going to go force myself to find small stuff that I can stitch and make these things and put it in there just to fill it up? I want to fill it up with stuff that I really, really love. So it may take me longer than this year to fill up that cubby. But it's not a race. And you know, that's what I've also come to realize. Life is a journey. Stitching is a journey. I think I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself lately just to do all the things all the time and I, I can't do it. I can't do everything and still have, you know, my sanity. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to rush into filling that cubby, but I still would like to do some s stitches. I'm telling you my brain, my brain. I feel like I'm <laughs> hot mess. Boy, this mug is so appropriate today. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to rush to fill that. I meant to show this. My friend, I, when I met the ladies last night for stitching, my friend Sandy gave me this highlighter tape. She knows I love that. And I don't have the orange one. I just have the pink one. So I was very thankful to get that from her. My husband and I were in CVS after Christmas. And you know, after Christmas, they have all of their Christmas stuff. It was 50% off, I think, 60% off. Well, I saw this set. It was a Kit Kat set. It had Kit Kats in it, but then it had this mug. Isn't that cool? I have never seen these. I didn't even see these at CVS when they were like regular price. They also had a Reese's one, but their mug inside was like scratched, so I didn't get that one. But this came with two mugs. I don't need two Kit Kat mugs. So I'm going to give one away to you guys. So if you want to enter to win this mug, leave me a comment down below. Obviously don't say giveaway because I will delete your comment. <laughs> leave me a comment telling me what your favorite candy is. You guys all know what my favorite candy is, sweet tarts. So I will pick a winner next week 
what's today? Today is actually January 3rd, so January 10th. I will pick a winner for this, so if you want to be entered to get that. I thought that's an awesome way to, to have a giveaway. Okay, what other purchases? So, we all know McKenna. She had this Christmas sweater where it said on the blank list and the middle was the sequins. It said nice and then you could rub it and it would say naughty. I found that sweater. I told my husband, I'm ready for Christmas next year. I got, she, I got hers at Walmart too, I think. I got this on clearance for $4. Because look, okay, it says nice and then all you do is move the sequins down and it says naughty. Are you kidding me? I had to have it. I thought that was so awesome. So I was so glad to get that for $4 on clearance. So next year, I'll wear it to a Christmas party that we go to that no one watches my videos or even knows I do YouTube. They'll love that. Okay, the only cross stitch purchase I made this week was from Down Sunshine Lane. I decided to buy the three parts of the hands-on design chalkboard ornaments. I think I've owned these in the past. I know I had these and I think I gave them away. The, yeah. So I got those three. That's part one. This is part two. And then this is part three. I figure I want to actually try to finish them the way that they're finished. So that'll be a, a good little video when I get to that point because it includes, which is nice, the felt leaves and the buttons already in it. So I thought that was really an awesome deal. So got those. Excuse me. I did receive some gifts this week. Karen from So Much To Love, she really liked my product review of her whip tracker, which that is my favorite product that she has put out. I mean, I love the project bags, but the whip tracker, oh my God, it has made me keeping track of my stuff so much easier. She made me as a gift, a new cover for my whip tracker. And if you follow her on Instagram, you saw it because everyone started tagging me in it. Ah! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boxes. Oh my God. Now, I really like the owl cover that she had and she was going to send me that one, but then she found this fabric and she said, which would you like better? Um, please, the foxes. Yeah. So, got this from her. The final thing I received in the mail was from Brenda of Brenda's Minders and More. You guys know that someone for 2017 had paid for the needle minder club for me and they want to remain anonymous. So I don't know who did it, but thank you. You guys know I love needle minders, but she sent me a whole box of stuff, which I opened this and I was like, holy shit. So she sent me this lovely Christmas card. And then what did she send? Fox pot holder. More Fox pot. And what's nice is I can put this out at fall. Oh my God, look at that. Ah, happy harvest. Are you kidding? And look at this face. Dish towel. Yeah, this stuff is going to be going out come fall and Christmas next year. But I'm going to be using this immediately. You know I waited to do this video before I use any of this stuff. A fleece throw. Look at them. Ah! Yeah. I use blankets all the time. All year round. It doesn't matter if it's winter or not. But that didn't, she didn't stop there. Dish towel. Bunches of socks. Love me some socks. Oh my God. And these little guys are like soft, fuzzy. Yes, oh my God. I was just stunned when I opened this package. Some candy, which I didn't realize that candy cane got broken. 
candy and hot cocoa. There's more. There's a whole bunch more. Tissues, which actually I need to put these in my purse, but oh my God, is that not cute? But then she also sent, which this is awesome. Oh, that's magnetic. So is that. Little notepad. And this is actually a chalkboard. Oh my God. Love this kind of stuff. But that's not it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things that she sent. I just, I will hang this on my tree next year. Look at that. It has the year and my name. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. I'm amassing some really awesome ornaments from you guys. A couple of you have sent me Christmas ornaments. I just love them. I should have just a fox tree though, shouldn't I? Yeah. And then she sent me a couple little, there are needle minders in here too because that was then probably the main reason for her sending the package. But she sent me this little pin cushion. Oh my God, you know that it's going right next to my stitching station. Yes. And then a tape measure. Can never have too many of them because I always seem to misplace them. So the needle minders that she sent, I'm guessing that the snowflake was December's needle minder. But oh my God, I love these. Of course, you know I love the breast cancer ribbon because I have my breast cancer board in there with all kinds of breast cancer needle minders. I do not have this one. And please, I love that. Look at that. It's beautiful, that heart. Brenda, thank you so much for everything you sent. And thank you to whoever paid for my subscription to her needle minder club for all of 2017. I very, very much appreciate that. So that is it today for the video, guys. I hope you all are having a good week and a good start to your 2018. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.